Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon, everybody. We can do one more run. I believe in you, Yaxiel. I don't know if we're heading back to the Baron just yet. We had a pretty rude awakening there in the form of a lost Vestal. And six out of 16 deaths so far total is not ideal. Although, I mean, if you consider the fact that we're on, what, week 27, presumably about a third of the way through the campaign and to have a little over a third of the allotted deaths. That seems okay. I feel like we're not in too terrible of a position. Ace managed to gain 2,000 gold for us while gambling, apparently, so that's pretty sick. A little boon there. I'm feeling okay. And we got a replacement Vestal right away, too. We'll snag them. A sister of battle. Pious and unrelenting. Which I'm pretty certain is going to mean that we're going to try to get that person ranked up quickly. And this would be a great way to do it. How fitting for her as well. Gather three holy relics. Let's see what we can do for this. I feel like I should try to keep the groups of uh, teammates at a fairly equal level. This also feels like an excellent antiquarian opportunity. Let's see if I can bolster my economy a little bit further and then maybe the double bounty hunter here is actually kind of tempting I feel like I want to have at least one of these guys ranked up a little higher and they're pretty low the both of them so yeah I think I'll go ahead and do this the pick me is open if you're just joining us you want to be chosen added in for our new vestal for the day let's take this lot into the blacksmith and guild. You getting Crimson Curse is new? Yeah, that's becoming a problem pretty quickly here. We're absolutely going to want to take any uh, Bloodsucker encounters we can find just for the chance of getting some more for the stockpile. Not to mention, I ought to go ahead and make this a pretty big priority right now, the Sanguine Vintner, which we have a blueprint for, so we're going to need to save up 80 busts, which is going to be pretty tough. But if we can get that going, we pretty much don't need to worry too, uh, at all about the, uh, the curse so long as we can, you know, at least keep it in check a little bit. Try not to spread it if we can help it, a.k.a. not put people with the curse in with other folks in, like, the abbey and the tavern. All right, we got a little bit of cash now, which is nice. Gonna be able to get these guys all the skills they need. She's actually got the default perfect kit to start off with here, so you'd love to see that. A couple of upgrades for these guys, maybe some extra stun chance up front, and then I think I'm going to go ahead and unlock their other skills. Well, I mean, money is still a concern. I should be I should be conservative while I can. I'll take the additional stun damage, though, and then I think I'll give you the same thing here with the additional stun chance on that. Since those are pretty cheap, we'll go to survivalist real quick just to make sure that we've got at least semi-decent options here, including hopefully a, an ambush prevention. But it doesn't look like that's going to be an option for them. Plan takedown, probably not going to do much. The scouting chance. I kind of like this, actually. It's pretty expensive, though. But if we were to do that with both of these guys, it would be a plus 50% scouting chance, which would ideally mean that the dungeon's going to be a heck of a lot easier, considering we're looking for specific things this time around. I'm probably going to go ahead and try to produce some trinkets with her as well. It's worth the gamble. I haven't really been doing that all that much. And then we do have Sanctuary with her, which is always nice. Could take Prey here. That's not a bad idea. I think we got the money for it. Welcome back. All right. Slip to slap. Welcome back. Thank you for the 13 months, and thank you for the bear hugs for me. I'll appreciate it. Who's going to be our brand new Vestal here? Last call for the pick me. If you'd like to be chosen, I believe we're just about ready to take off the squad as soon as we get them some trinkets. What's this going to be looking like? we got a lot of really good stuff now for the trinkets, thankfully. That, that has been upgraded substantially. And Aquarian, actually, with the uh, two of three for the additional damage versus blighted targets. You can also get here plus 25% protection with the Carapacidal. Holy cow. I did not realize we'd gotten that. That is outstanding. Um, I don't think we have anything to add healing yet. I'm not sure we've gotten lucky there, so... I think accuracy on range skills and the stun skill chance makes a lot of sense to give her a higher likelihood of landing her stun. I'm going to take some big damage buffs up front. 
we're probably going to go ahead and rock the plus 45% up here. That's going to be a very stressed out Fusro Da. But uh, we can always just commit him afterward. Hopefully we can just eliminate threats quickly enough. And then let's go with the Crescendo Box. And you know, I'm honestly kind of tempted here. Hold on a second. What if we were to do something like this? It's going to be a lot less of a concern here if we were to spread it out a little bit like that. Although he's still getting a lot more stress from that too. Let me just do that instead. Give Crescendo Box to her. That seems like a fine idea. Having additional speed on the Vestal is usually a good choice. Having a little extra damage on the Judgment couldn't hurt either. Not using Focus Ring here is surprising, but it does feel like we got the best stuff sorted out right now. So let's find out who's joining us. That's going to be Robin Ebra. Which I'm, I'm trusting y'all with the honor system here to inform you whether or not you've already had a name. So I can't recall all of them. I believe you haven't been chosen yet for this campaign, at least. Ooh, hard skin, too. And luminous. Wow, I did not realize. Okay, yeah, you got a pretty lucky draw here, Robin. Good stuff. Let's do it. We're off to the ruins again. I've been preparing better for these lately. I feel like I've been under stocked in most of these medium dungeons, but now not so much. I think that'll do. Get seven blood for the stockpile, so yeah, we're gonna want to try to get at least a little bit going here. Alright. That'll do. The customary start of the run coffee sip. Hey Leo, welcome, good to have you. There is power in symbols. Collect the scattered scraps of faith and give comfort to the masses. That's that's unfortunate. Up or down, chat. Just go with your gut. Don't think about it. Just type it in chat. You can even do an arrow. You can do the letter U. It's got to be up, right? Yeah, it's got to be up. Bookcase right away. That's a bad omen. Two buses, nice, though. Absolutely the thing we're most excited to see right now, given we're trying to build those vintners up. Just give me 40 bus in this run, and we'll call it a good game. Let me ride his rain. Yes, please. By all means, Pond, do your thing. Oh, so far, very calm, and there we go. Instant payoff. Scouting the secret room with the Annie Q, which I don't think she gets anything extra from this, but I might be wrong about that. I think she might get an extra, like, bear idol or something. Oh! That's what she gets. <laughs> well, then. Don't mind if I do. That's pretty good. <laughs> Jesus. So here's a quick little plus 50% protection for the antiquarian. Wow. That's awesome. All right, big upgrade. Any Q gets more stuff with Extinguished Torch. True, you know, yeah, we haven't really Wealth done... beyond measure. Awarded to the brave a and run. the foolhardy alike. Maybe this is the time to do that. I've been feeling pretty confident lately. Up was the right choice. Yeah, pat yourselves on the back. Give yourselves a bear clap, chat. The correct choice and route. We get to see how our, how our team's performing around one here. Overconfidence, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Annihilated. You gotta embrace it every now and then. All right, well. Light resistance is pretty high on these guys. I suppose. I would rather have someone guard so we don't take it on more than one person if we can help it. So let's do that. Heck of a stun team, honestly. Very true. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of opportunity to stun these guys, but hopefully that'll be helpful in the future. Well, 
she's got half an inventory stuff worth of stuff with her of an extinguished torch secret room oh my god okay so i guess i just gotta be doing that in the future yeah i've never really considered that i don't think and that makes a ton of sense especially if you have the torches for it broken maintain which we absolutely did in that case we could have told the extinguished the torchlight and then refilled it immediately afterward very lucky to avoid the curse there by the way oh the bear on the low that's good nice resistance okay Go ahead and finish you off. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Well, oh, thank you, Bear. I can never play this game for the stress, but love watching it. You're not alone. I'm glad to have you. you can enjoy that stress vicariously. That's what I'm here for. That's what I put on my uh, resume, actually. Vicarious stress receiver. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Wait, that's not phrase right. You get it, though. Immunity mask is a pretty good one, actually. I remember this being, being a frequent choice for our leper. The additional resistances are pretty strong, and then that's not too big of a loss of HP. Certainly more valuable than that citrine. I'm very quickly running into an inventory issue again here. I'm wondering if maybe it's not a bad idea to just go ahead and camp now. I like that plan a lot, actually, and here's why. Gathered close in tenuous firelight, an uneasy companionship. Because of this layout, if we get the double scouting bonus here, almost certainly we'll be able to get the scout from this one, which will let us know if we actually need to go back this way. And if we don't, then we can save a whole bunch of time just having to go straight through that hall. So let's do it. Double scout ahead. Honestly, I could fight the ambush. I don't think it even matters that much. Welcome back. Let's do a trinket scrounge or two and see if we can find something decent. Rockbeard! New hat! Welcome back. Thank you for the three years, Rockbeard, and thank you for the prime. Thank you for, uh, for all of the resubscriptions this morning, y'all. Thank you for the bear hugs for them, too. Appreciate that a lot. That's probably going to be dumped. Let's try again, though. Oh, I thought I could do that twice for some reason. No, that's the other one, isn't it? Um, eh, why not? Why not? The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Fantastic. Okay. Crossing our fingers that we get a little bit of bear luck here and we can scout out that uh, remaining area. All right. Yep, that's going to have to happen, I guess, if we want the blood. Another invitation, too. That's not nothing. Uh, 69%. Must do it. Simply must. All stress hits are going to be a problem. It's absolutely not something we're well equipped to deal with here. So I'm certainly hoping they're not too mean about that. Also, please don't give us the Crimson Curse. Secondarily. Maybe primarily. I said primarily. Thank you. I caught myself. Oh, this guy's dodging. This boy is dodging. There we go. Decimated. Okay, let's mark for death. Yeah, I like that play. We got a little protection. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. Stab him. Okay, come on. One, one more time. One more time, that's all I need. And then another time after that. One, one, I meant twice. I meant twice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm not going to stun these guys. Not even worth trying. Get the max torch light out, I guess, but whatever. Eradicated. Well, we found the effective play, I guess. Mark them and... Continue the onslaught. Destroy uh, Tony Starkum. A.K.A. Blast them with your Iron Man ray. A.K.A. Just poke them with a stick. I have like five of these, right? I don't know if I need this. Inventory space is very limited right now. I think I can just leave this. And we're gonna take this one portrait over that? I don't know, 
that bad. Let's dump the food. I don't think we need that much. Might as well eat it, though. Okay. Tough, tough. Good stuff. Sweet. The effective play is just don't get the curse. Yeah, people don't realize this, but if you just don't get the curse and then also are gifted with all of the best trinkets within the first 30 weeks of your run, you'll be fine. Okay, so we did get at least one quest location this way. Got the value out of it, although unfortunately not the result we wanted. Especially with this. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Yeah, that's not ideal. That'll help. Quick little room fight. Okay. I really should have brought more keys and shovels on this one, man. Under prepped. All right, let's have a look here. We're still prioritizing the stress damage. I'm thinking we're probably going to be able to kill him with the stab. Let's maybe mark this guy so we can get a one-shot next round. And then you finish the job. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Yeah, I was worried about that. I guess I could have... No, I don't think I had a mean, the means to take her out round one, did I? I'm going to have to commit this vessel, unfortunately. But, well, oh boy, yeah, this is actually getting really bad. Thankfully, we can only get up to 100 there, but it's going to get much worse very quickly. The walls close in. The shadows whisper of conspiracy. Yeah, I'm starting to think that bonus healing was not really worth the additional 20% stress we're getting from her now. I don't want to re-equip that other thing we're holding on to. Eh, this is probably better. Ah, the bear optimal again. Thankfully, we get a little extra damage here. Speaking of which... Oh, boy. Come on, now. Well, this is particularly bad. She's almost certainly going to be going quickly here, so... I wonder if there's anything we can do. I don't think there is. We'll just do a little bit of light damage, but... Oh, okay. Hold on. Get lucky with the crit, maybe? Five? That's going to leave her on optimal again, isn't it? Oh, that's really nasty. Knockback for two would put her in the third spot, which would allow the bounty hunter to reach her if we maybe get lucky on the turn order. Oh, wow, that's convenient. Okay, thank you very much. Now we can get a little bit more torchlight at the end. Or she could just get the kill, and then that might, that might give her a little bit of stress healing. Or not. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. All right, we're swapping that back. I'm going to go ahead and give her this box as well, just so she's not getting any additional stress here. Um, why can't I switch this? There we go. And then you put that there. You put that there. There we go. That's better. Um, I want to keep the blood... Oh, it's inventory. I gotta just get rid of the bandages, I guess. I wanna keep the crest too, though, but I guess those aren't as important. Oh, hold on. There we go. Outstanding. Alright. Just gotta be really careful about the uh, stress here. Ooh, I think that with the holy water is good. It's going to be... Oh, that's a damage bonus. Crap, right, yeah. Ah, oh, crap. Speaking of crap, no. Oh, they are going to make things real bad real quick here. we got to start stunning. Or not. Okay. That's helpful. That's not. The knockbacks are where it's at here, though. we got to bring her to the front so we can... Get her stunned, too. This is not going well so far, though. This might have to be an abandoned ship. Death waits for the slightest lapse in concentration. As disappointing as that would be, this is becoming a problem really, really quickly. It helps a lot, but... Ah, this is worrying me. 
because she is uh, paranoid, so she's going to be triggering those effects very frequently. I'm going to try for the double stun on him. Oh, boy. Come on, man. That's convenient, at least. Okay. Of course, still has to have a negative result. That's fine. Not when it crits, though. Come on. All right, that helps a little, but not a lot. Uh, this is not going well, either. Why did I do that? Why did I knock him back to the fourth rank? That was stupid. Obliterated. Huh. That's good, I guess. Good punishment. Returns, even the boldest gaze. Hmm. What is seven? Man, this is tough. I think I gotta do that. That's big. That's big. Oh yeah. That was the right choice. Not a big dodge too. Okay, we're getting really lucky here. I'm going to get some Blight on him. And then hopefully a Judgment will be enough. Oh, right, and the Stumbling Scratch. Yeah, we should knock him back again. That would be really big if I could land this knockback here. Naturally. Okay. Getting fairly even trade-offs, I suppose, so far here. If I can land another Blight there, he'll die. Caltrips, actually. Oh, yeah. There you go. Will that do it? That will. Oh, that's outstanding. Okay. Great news. Let's try that again. This guy's just being a dick. That's another bleed, unfortunately. Slowly. Gently. This is how a life is taken. All right. This is a much better position now, thankfully. That was scary for a second there. I think we're going to be all right, though. This fight has gone far too long. He's going to be fine. I'll take you out. You cannot heal from that position. That's right. Okay. That's what's going on. Oh, boy. I'm starting to regret that very early camp. I don't know if the scout was worth giving up all the potential stress healing for later in the run. Oh, boy. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Not to mention, if I don't get the scout this way, I'm just going to have to go that way anyway in, in case there's a relic there. And I need space for the relics. Oh, my God. Oh, this isn't good. Well, can't take any of that shit, obviously. Sweep these guys back out, I think. Right, there we go. Alright, well, we get at least one. Really hope there's no fight in here, because we're already in pretty bad shape. That's good. Got the scout, too. That helps a lot. Oh, man, I hate that. I still think top was the right choice, but oh, that's a bummer. Oh, wait, shit. I forgot to get the thing. Oh, no. Holy water. Yeah, it's gotta be. No, I don't want to use that on that. I want you to use it. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Oh, it should have a result. It should clone it. Bring holy waters, just get one relic and call it good. I'm starting to agree. Yeah, I think that early camp was a bit too, uh, a bit too risky. All right, we should be fine here, especially with a surprise attack. I think we're gonna be able to fully control this group. Let's get a nice big stab there, and then we. Don't even need to stun that guy. Just go for the kill here with whatever's the highest likelihood to hit. There it is. All right. Pretty good start there. Do need to remind myself not to... Yeah, God, that was... 
I could have avoided that. I should have knocked back the Kurye, I guess? Just sometimes you want to get the uppercut stun without the knockback, but that ain't an option. Let's do that. I think... Which one has Caltrips equipped, actually? I need to put that guy in the second rank. Yeah, I don't know why I've got this guy up front. We need to flip-flop those. Um, judgment may be enough. It's going to be a two-turn timer, at least. Okay, we'll get that much, and then... You need to go ahead and die for me. Thank you. That's nonsense. XCOM. You need to heal. Destroy. That'll help. Sweet. Um, okay, hopefully no more stress on her. I am being squid punished. You're absolutely right about that. Clutch. Actually a decent stress heal, but the HP we needed there. Alright. Nearly done. We're gonna try to sneak in a few more heals here. Another group heal for you. Clutch. For rushing it. That's fine. Another heal. Slow death. Okay. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. That helps a lot. Nice little stress heal at the end there too. Okay. Oh my God. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. Torchlight is so low. I feel like I'm playing solo. Jester lands a solo. Number two. Huh. I only really think I need the torch. Onyx it is. See you later. Alright, looping back around. Here we go. Hope we don't get too many issues here. That's not good. Cool. Yeah, that'd be why we passed it the first time there, Pawn. <laughs> okay, okay. We're not in terrible shape. Although, unfortunately, we know that we need to fight at least two battles prior to being able to reach where the Curio even is, or where the quest location even is. So, you know, not great. Speaking of not great, apparently we have a stress eater, too. That's fun. So if that's the case, I might as well just go ahead and have you eat two food real quick. Get your torch light back. Please, no fights. Thank you. This could very well be a goddamn collector over here, too, man. This is... He's getting very quickly into we should just cut our losses and bounce territory. You turn it, kid. Welcome. No, you can only burn the pots for stress relief in the courtyard. When you're out in a normal dungeon, they just act as summoning pods for the bloodsucker enemies. I should go, dude. This is terrible. Oh, man, I hate it. I hate it. It's my fault. That's what's driving me crazy. It was, it was absolutely my fault doing that camp way too early. I think I was, like, banking on it. Well, I was banking on it scouting the whole thing to let me know, but I didn't really consider the fact that if we scouted it and I got the result that I did, that I would still have to go that way anyway, and therefore it wouldn't really be worth it. Everything's shouting at me to leave now. I think I should. I can't afford another death. Where there is no peril in the task, there can be no glory in its accomplishment. That's still pretty good, though. No experience out of it. We don't get the town event, but that's still a lot of loot. Have more than enough money to fix these guys up. Got a faded pawn jugular now. That's pretty sick. Lurker for Robin as well. All right, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's very true as well. Yeah, we got two very good relics out of it. Let me share with you the terrible wonders I have come to know. And a little bit of blood. 
which is always good too. All right, we do have to commit a lot of these guys though. Not surprisingly, that is about it. Everybody else is feeling pretty good right now. A couple of guys with rabies up there. Let's see what we can do. See if maybe the stagecoach has another antiquarian, actually. A leper. Another flagellant as well. How many of each of those guys we got right now? Two flagellants, zero lepers. Well, let's fix that, shall we? Fresh meat from the wagon. This man understands that adversity and existence are one and the same. Mm hmm. Go on a trip to the cove here. Get five beads. That seems nice. Solar Bracer is actually pretty damn good. Plus four crit and plus five dodge with torch above 75, which I almost always have. Oh, yeah, it's a fresh pick me as well. Let's go ahead and reset that real quick. Actually, if you're just joining us, feel free to type a pick me in the chat and draw a new name for the leper we just draw or just grabbed. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go for that solar bracer, actually. It seems like a pretty damn good trinket. Although we are doing quite well on trinkets now. Is there anything that offers busts? Nope. All right. That's a good trinket for the jester, but... Yeah, I think we'll go for this. That means bleed team would be ideal here. We do want to bring the leper out as well. We can grab Theonius, maybe. Weyra as a rank 2 Hellion? That could work. And then... Hmm. Ace is pretty close to leveling up. Let's go with S'mores. Captain S'mores. The Pony of Shadow. Welcome to the squad. It's a good name for the leper. Love interest. Ooh, damage versus unholy. Nice. All right, let's take these folks into the guild and blacksmith. Got a decent amount of cash, at least still. He's already ranked up. This and then. Make sure you got if it bleeds unlocked. We go for the extra bleed chance there. Get the open vein leveled up. He's got all the right skills here, I think. Yeah, we're good to go. I'll unlock duelist just in case. And then I'm gonna grab the upgrade to demons pole, the upgrade to reconstruction. And I think that'll do. He's in rank four though, so he's not able to stab. So let's go for maybe the weakening curse here. Yeah, it's a good one for the. Uh, Good one for the Warrens. When would you dismiss a hero? Maybe if they have, like, a disease, a bunch of stress, and, like, two or three negative quirks I don't feel like getting rid of. At that point, they'd probably be worth getting rid of, but I don't really want to dismiss anybody when we've got chat members in here. If I can help it. I don't know if it's actually worth it to spend this gold on these right now, either. I feel like we've got some decent options already. Yeah, they're looking fine here. Oh, yeah, quarantine is an excellent uh, camping skill for him. I forgot about that. I want reflection, too, but eh, yeah, it's probably worth it. Okay. We've got some really nice stuff now. Including the immunity mask, which I might already be tempted to go with. Maybe make him like a pure tank. What could we do with that? Could do that mask and then maybe something like the overture box. That's pretty damn good. Although he's not really ever looking to dodge. It's not his MO. The recovery charm would honestly be outstanding. That would turn his... Solemnity into a checks notes eight heal, which is pretty nice. He was like 25% of his HP in one skill. Tempting. What else could we do? We can just give him more health. He's plus five HP. I think that's worth it. 
Lowered accuracy on a leper is fitting anyway. Does he have something that gives him extra accuracy? He does, the revenge. I shouldn't unlock that. And actually use it. Especially because we have Demon's Pole. Ooh, maybe get Hue as well? Or I could do Withstand and Revenge. That could be fun. Yeah. Any Stardew today? Possibly. I was just going to let my, uh, my gut choose for me at the end of the DD1 today. See what I feel like diving back into. Because we got a few games we could play now. We got Stardew, we got Slice and Dice, got Backpack Battles. We'll be getting back into Darkest Dungeon 2 as well for those clamoring for more of that. The experimental branch update for that game was pretty significant, so... I think once that hits the main branch, I might get back into that. That might line up pretty well with the end of our campaign here too, actually. That'd be convenient. This is the old peanut butter and jelly combo, man. I was talking about that pretty recently, but... That's a fun one. Plus 20% damage, plus 10 accuracy, plus 5% crit chance at the cost of dodge and more stress. It's a worthwhile trade in my book, no doubt. Big damage there. We're going to get the additional healing for the occultist, which is enormous. And you know what? Yeah, Aria box. Let's just negate that debuff fully. Why not? Not a lot else I want to give him anyway. Oh, of course. Here we go. That's much better for a tank. And then I kind of want to do that. Ooh, that's fun. Yeah, I like that play. That's good. 41 HP with 25% protection. And an apprentice level dungeon is absurd. Yeah, the head trinkets are in DD2. They do slightly different things. They can drop from the collector, I believe. All right, well, maybe my confidence has been shaken, but only one way to proceed. Oh, wait, no, I'm not doing this one. I'm doing the Warrens. That's right, I want the Solar Bracer. Yeah, I don't know why I... I'll just go ahead and bring all of it. Um, and then boom, 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 boom. Keys. There we go. Yeah, the experimental patch for DD2 is pretty su uh, pretty substantial, so definitely a good reason to get back into it. Lots to do, man. I can't remember what we use herbs for in the Warrens. I'm having a tough time remembering all the curios. They breed quickly down there in the dark. But perhaps we can slay them even faster. I'm not gonna sweat it too much, though. Oh, yeah, we need holy water in here, too, don't we? That's right. Yeah, immediately missed that. Oh, well. Oh. Oh, get up here now. Nice. So, yeah, I really want to try to get the revenge and the withstand on him early. I suppose the withstand is best to start with so we can get the tank doing his thing, and then once he's done that. Well at least having him well at least have him contributing to the fight while he's still trying to build his buffs up. I'm just wondering even if like if it's worth it in a fight like this. Give them no quarter. Here's the good old fashioned grape shot blast, man. God damn, that was a big hit. Exposed to a killing blow. Well, that's terrible. Okay, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Can I? Hold on. Wait a second. Just relax, okay? Annihilated. We're trying to buff him. We're trying something new. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. You give me a minute. Jesus Christ, all right. Gone, fiend. No buffs for me, no time for that shit. This expedition at least promises success. All right, so that's holy water. Nothing of value, that's fine. I guess I can take this fight. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't care. I got enough blood. It'll be okay. Spooners! 
This is the fight for spreading the damage around. If there ever was one. Alright, marked him for me. Thank you. Oh, I hate it. It hurts and I hate it. Not even able to get a Solemnity off there. Not gonna have Iron Swan either here, I guess. Keep that in mind. Perfectly sane lunatic. Executed with impunity. That'll do it. Timely Prime. Provide us with a much needed crit here. Thank you very much for the resub and the bear hugs for him. Welcome back in. You're just wrecking his shit. Another oh! One hello. There we go. Well played, buddy. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. No. I will not. Okay. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. Nice. Might be able to get a scout for the very last room and hopefully not have to go the entire way there. That'd be nice. A powerful blow. It's also very nice. All the leper wants to do is pop a solemnity. Please and thank you. Just literally all I desire from this encounter. That and also another triple kill with him it would be pretty dope. Man, her damage is crazy right now. I missed that trinket combination. You guys take an extra turn. Only I'm supposed to be allowed to do that. Hey, Daniel. Oh, boy. A dizzying blow to body and brain. Dungeon's been pretty dark so far. Yeah, it's been a rough beginning here. Couldn't quite make it through the first dungeon, but we did manage to get out without killing anybody. And we've been immediately presented with a... Uh, High-stress leper situation. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. What even is the, the 65% versus what? 75, 75, 85. Okay, come on, man. Back to the pit. And stop freaking around out here, huh? The wounds of war can be healed, but never yep. hidden. There you go. That's what we're looking for. That solemnity coming, brother. I'm gonna try to hit you with one more if I can. So I'm kind of in danger. Yeah, I know, I know. Just a little bit more stalling, just a tiny bit. With a bit baby stalling, okay? Just want to heal him one more time. There you go. All right, now you can go. How about you? Another abomination cleansed from our lands. Got some blood out of it, sweet. Alright, not gonna worry about that. Hopefully. Go ahead and get these guys fed. Another torch. Good scout. Come on, all the way to the end, all the way to the end. Alright. Gonna at least go to there. That shouldn't be too bad, especially with a surprise. Nice. Demon's pole. Sick. Spiders can drop blood. I think anything can drop blood. What is with you, Theonius? As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Look where you're shooting, man. Sheesh. You don't have to close your eyes and fire sideways, you know? Stop showing off. Eh, sure, why not? Get lucky. You gotta ask if he's got any minus accuracy mods for ranged attacks. He might. No? My man's just missing. Let's look at this. Hold on a second. He's got 80%. There you go. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Just had to call enough attention to it. You just had to properly shame him. There we go. Success so clearly in view. Nah, it's not that good. 
Or is it merely a trick of the light? Okay. Mm, I think we could probably go ahead and get rid of one of these. Stacks In of torches radiance, here. May we find victory. Come on, Scout. Come on, Scout. There it is. And then just an empty room, right? Oh, God damn it. All right, fine. And then this was herbs. Right? Nice. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Another plus 30% damage. Hell yeah. Spooters everywhere. My goodness. That's too many spooters. There you go, buddy. You're figuring it out. I just knew you could. I do not miss the resource management of this game. Yeah, it's been rough. It's just constant decision making as far as like what's worth more. But that is, is a strong component of it. Not necessarily strong like gameplay wise, but as, as in like it is an is a prevalent part of this game. ABIM. Always be inventory managing. Whoa! You guys just hang out for a sec while I heal the entire team up to full and zero stress, okay? Please and thank you. Eh, that works too. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Holy shit. Cool. All right. Let's try not to camp, I guess. We can maintain Super Leper here. We have what? Oh, we have eight torches left. Yeah, we're good to go. Hi, Collector. <laughs> Again, Collector's just three maggots in a trench coat, so I was right. Here's your grape shot blast, buddy. Oh, jeez. Yep. Yep. Eh, maybe not. Just stab it. That's six maggots. Are you okay? You know, you're not wrong. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Those rhymes with count. I was elected to blank, not to count. I can't, I can't get it. Someone help me. I'm calling for a lifeline on the joke. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. I was gonna say I was elected to mount, not to count, but I don't wanna get bonked in my own chat. Hound? Yeah, half rhyme, close enough. I'll give it to you. I still, yeah, I really don't need the blood. We're good. No reason to do that. Watch your step. No reason to risk further curses. Oh, route's pretty. Oh, Sir Mount. There it is. You found it. I'm here to Sir Mount, not to count. Yep. Love it. No further questions. Positive word? Code tactician. Cool. Yeah, I'll take it. More stress. Destroyed. But not for me. You know what? Go ahead and just chop them up, buddy. That seems like a fun plan for you. There you go. No need to solemnity. Just murder everything in one As shot. Victories mount. So too will resistance. That'll do it. Oh, drummer boy. So this is this is really just a PSA for anybody who hasn't been exposed to this yet. Go ahead and just look at that drum. Just wanna 
just want to call attention to that. Okay, all right, perfectly unsettling, great. Everybody's nice and uncomfortable now. Tommy's brother, not wrong. A long lost relative. This is very similar. <laughs> oh no, that's way too close. Oh, poor Tommy. It is, it's like, well, like, Tommy's already kind of sad already. It's almost the same fucking face. Holy shit. <laughs> That's, that is weirdly close. I think, I think the guy that carved Tommy might have based it off of the drum of the swine from Darkest Dungeon. That was clearly his reference image. a fun discovery. Tommy isn't sad. That's his war face. He, that's true. Yeah, he's ready for battle. He's ready to back you up. When shit hits the fan. All right, keep on hitting him with that Solemnity friend. Oh, baby, you've been crushing it with that. I have a very low highwayman all of a sudden, though. Ah, oh, shit. Apparently this is an issue. Do I have Hugh equipped? I don't. I didn't unlock it. Yeah, okay. Okay. How's this looking? Five to nine, eighty percent chance. Pretty good, pretty good. I have one more slum. Did he come out of here too? Dope. Oh my god, Pony. Self-stress healing has been through the roof. I think I can stall just a little bit more here. Okay, literally that little bit more. And that's exactly what I needed. Thank you very much. Decimated. Ah, damn. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Okay. I still think I can hang on to my camp. I don't have herbs for this. It's probably not even worth going through, but okay. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good result. Should still not surprising. Okay. Uh, you can probably go ahead and anti-venom that. Through the bleed now. <laughs> it's the first iteration of Dinner Carl. For a task well performed. Absolutely right, yeah. Okay, plenty of food here still. Plenty of torch light. We're doing really good this time, actually. This is actually just spider dungeon. Oops, all spiders. As long as we can solemnity here. Might not be able to, though. Hey, there we go. Thank you, Overture Box. Give me that. So if I can get out of here without having to commit anybody, we just run this team back. That would be absolutely ideal. Speaking of absolutely ideal. Hey, he finally learned how to fire his weapon. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. It's a miracle. I am going to gamble on not needing the shovels. Or the bandages. Yeah. Let's try that. We have a key left for this chest. This would have been herbs. So we can just try it. A fortune. Nice. Waiting to be spent. All right. Proper battle here. Surprised again. My goodness. Um, let's see. Let's go for the stress dealer. Yeah, for sure. And then we can abyssal that. Awesome. And you know what? Just, just kill everything. Obliterated. Why are we messing around with other options when we got four million damage up front? How's it going? How's it going? You are back to Solemnity. Still need to 
try to fix you up. Ah, the bear optimal again. We can clear the corpse here, though, at least, and then that's going to put him all by his lonesome. And yeah, should be fine to just solemnity here. I bet I can get away with this, too, though. Nice. It feels so strange just to see everything die. It's wild to have enemies that have, like, nine hit points. It is very satisfying simultaneously to be able to just thwack them. Playing some whack-a-maggot. There you go. Yeah, no death armor either. A much easier time getting rid of shit. Fuck April 1st, but by the way, I literally did not even realize it was April Fool's Day until this moment. And I truly hope that that is the only engagement with it that I have today. It went, in, in the age of the internet, April Fool's Day went from cute and endearing to overwhelming to the dumbest holiday in existence. Sedated. Every now and then there's one or two decent ones. Foolish horrors brought low and driven into the mud. Like when entire websites will make a game out of it, you know, like, oh my god, that's fine, but usually it's just silly. Uh, I guess just get rid of that. I, I, no, I think it's time to camp. Why can't I camp here? I thought I'd normally be able to be able to camp in this kind of situation. Oh uh, yeah, I guess I can get rid of the anti-venom. Honestly, I think I can just get rid of that blood, actually. It's only one blood, it's not a big deal. And then let's see what this is. Perfect. Um, yeah, let's do the anti-venom now. And then let's see if I can get one more chest. Yeah, we're absolutely doing a full clear here. Totally worth it. Death waits for the slightest lapse in concentration. Still trying to get a little bit more stress healed on the leopard too. He's been dodging a ton. It's been working out. Everybody gets a piece. I didn't even realize it adds to their crits received chance. That's pretty dope. April Fool's Day was started because of a change in the calendar. Originally, the new year was celebrated on April 1st, but when it changed to January 1st, some people still celebrated in April, April and were called April Fools. I feel like you could be making that up. Like, that's a good lie. That's a good April Fools joke. Are you fucking with me? Did I get you? Or is that real? I guess in just questioning it, I have therefore gotten God. You're just abusing my frailty now. Now that you've realized Eradicated. how exposed I am to deception today. Monster. Alright, one more. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. And purpose is made clear. Well, there we friggin' go, dude. We're getting out of here with zero stress, I think. We'll make sure we prevent the ambush first, and then just stress healing across the board. Get a little revel in there. Oh, we're, we're feeling great. Holy shit. This team absolutely crushed it. Let's go. Some experiments should have never happened. You are doing just Ooh. work ending them. Outstanding, another 20 crests, nine deeds. Six portraits, two busts, and a partridge in a bear tree. Natural swing for pony. Oh, that'll do. Let each help the other, and in so doing, help themselves. Huh. Level restrictions removed for the next quest. Sadly... I don't know if that's going to really help. We can go destroy the inchoate flesh. That's kind of fun. Let's do that. <laughs> That'll be a hoot. 
just fully overpowered. We should make this an anti cure run. That would be perfect. Then we'll go. See if I can avoid the curse in this lot, although, actually, I think it'd be better if we brought out the curse people, wouldn't it? Just gonna bring a little blood with us. And then we'll go like that, and then let's do. Let's do an Arby for uh, a little bit of healing support. We do have four healers here, one self healer. We take out the Cry Havoc like that. There we go. Yeah, this is pretty good. Can take out the Holy Lance for a battle heal. Stress heal on the Crusader. There we go. I like it. All right. Go to the guild real quick. Slash blacksmith. I think these guys are all ranked up though, right? Yeah, they're all sorted out. I'm pretty sure they got their guild skills good to go too. Upgrade this guy. Okay, leave blind fire as is. Upgrade our battle heal a little bit. And then how's the anti-Q looking? She's good to go. Only 38 more busts till we get the Vintner. Actually, you know what? I am curious. Hold on. How's this trade value here in the crest? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Yeah, it's probably going to be better to just save them up. I'm not really in desperate need right now anyway. Nobody actually is quite sure how it started, but the story I told is one theory. I can I can go with that. Although I don't really have any basis for believing that they used to celebrate New Year's on a in April. But, you know, why not, I guess. Why is it January? Why is that the first month? Someone just decided. Other weight's still pretty damn good here. I got these still for you. Parapocidal's decent. I'm gonna be blighting a lot though. Maybe I just go with. This would be kind of fun. Again, yeah, plus 50%. Let's do it. Just as a goof. Additional healing skills for her is nice. And then maybe go with the additional ranged accuracy. Eh, yeah, focus ring. Or yeah, that's probably better. I'll do that. What else do you need? Let's give you the legendary bracer. And then you do the big stuff. Well, I definitely want to use Overture Box on somebody, so let's do this instead. Yeah, that's a little better. She's got a ton of dodge then. Plus 10% melee damage, probably not necessary. He's taking a lot of stress, though. Oh, he's got minus 20% stress in the Warrens, though. Sick. How convenient. Off we go. Mm -hmm. Holy waters. Bring a little bit of blood here. Hopefully just two is fine. Should be fine. Okay. I don't think we needed any anti-venom last time, did we? We could have used some to cure Blight, but... Oh, with this many veteran-level people, I think we should be fine. My zeal for blood rituals and summoning rites had begun to ebb, as each attempt invariably brought only failure and disappointment. Progress was halting, and the rapidly accumulating surplus of wasted flesh had become... Burdensome. The thing is more terrible than I can describe. Oh no. An incoherent jumble of organ, sinew, and bone. Ooh. Well, that's a very good scout, at least. I am just worried about the fact that they're already craving. Yeah, I did forget shovels, too, but maybe we'll get lucky with the layout. So we know, speaking of the layout, that we can go straight through here, and then it's either going to be there or there. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, yeah. All right, let's hit this way first, I guess. I'm gonna wait for them to be wasting before I actually use the blood here and hopefully we can find some more too. All right, and a lot of stun on this squad. Be gone, fiend. Plenty of damage though. Also a lot of back rank damage, which is outstanding. 
stress heal to start the day. Terrific. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Now it's Harry takes out the madman. We're good to go. Nice. Couple bleed up front to turn timer. The change happened when Pope Gregory started the, the Gregorian calendar. The reason why religious holidays are so different is because the Orthodox still use the previous calendar system, the Julian calendar, for liturgical purposes. Liturgical purposes is the name of my band. Dazed, reeling, about to break. Is I, I'm, I'm sorry to report that was the only thing I, I gained from that. <laughs> Well, I also learned that the Gregorian calendar is named after Pope Gregory. That was another today I learned. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Uh, do we need to stress self-stress heal? Is that a self-stress heal? It's not. You're going to die anyway, though, so... Maybe we get the crit heal. There we go. Slowly, gently, this is how a life is taken. I already filled up the inventory. Oh, that's because we have... A million torches. The, light, the promise of safety. Did I bring two stacks of torches instead of a stack of shovels? Is that what happened? Oh, I feel stupid. Okay. Oops. Pull for up and down. Yeah, let's do it. Mod, mod check, mod check. Can we run a poll? One minute poll, uh, up or down to decide which way we go to find the boss. Unless we scout it, obviously, but we can still do the poll. Mm-hmm. I have a lot of food, too. I really don't need that much. Yeah, we need the busts. Calm down. Thank you, mods. Thank you, mods. Uh, Torchlight, and let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and start stressing on her. Hey, Balkan. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Just a straight up guaranteed kill. Well, 90% chance to hit at least, but I think I need to give her some bonus damage, actually. I want to swap off the trinkets on these guys. Might make the Crusader a little more tanky. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. This sniper shot hitting harder. Uh, let's see here. I can stun him. Try to get another inspiring cry or two. Better there, at least. We need to heal. Continue the onslaught. All right. Destroy them all. Mm -hmm. Here we see our breaking point here, or our, well, the literal one. No scout to tell us where it is. Okay. Looks like we're relying on the pole after all, unless we get the scout at the very end here. Betting the boss is up, voting to go down, splitting my bets. Hey, you win either way. There you go. You also lose either way, but don't worry about that. Um, yeah. Okay, that is nearly there. Keep stressing in here. We have a camp to thankfully make her a little bit better off. Surges as the enemy crumbles. I just want to take what I can get, though. Ooh, yikes. Light there. 11 stress. Not too bad, thankfully. That shouldn't be stress damage either, I don't think. Thankfully, we managed to dodge it, too. Oh. Yeah, don't worry about it. Hey, it's, it can be confusing. Yeah, it looks like you're good, though. What'd the pole end up at? Didn't actually spot it. Nice. Pull voted up. All right. Done deal. Goodbye. I'm digging a Kami just one shot and everything so far. That's been a lot of fun. Pop her off a little bit. Go ahead and give it a bandage. Never mind. Try to get her some more damage. I think I might swap. What does she have going on right now? She's got this and then the focus ring. I could swap focus ring for the legendary bracer. 
Especially because the Houndmaster seems to be hitting pretty hard already anyway. Impressive. Might do that here. Lynch. Nice. A little self-heal there, buddy. All good. Another heal there. Terrific. Oh, there's the wasting. Okay, there's the blood for you, buddy. I gotcha, I gotcha. Calm down. There it is. He's just got so much to say. He's so excited. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. All right, no more stalling except for this last one. Just just the last one is all. That Then we're done, I promise. I swear is it. There you go. This expedition at least promises success. Okay, so we absolutely don't want to camp yet. We want to scout out. We don't need nearly that many torches, so we'll go ahead and just dump that. See what's in there with the antiquarian. Nice. Probably want to keep this, so let's do that, I guess. Yeah, I don't think I need the boot, actually, which is such a waste, but yeah. Let's do that. All right. Pile says up. Let's go up. Right away. Penalized for losing the food. No, don't do that. Okay, thank goodness. All right, so we're going to go ahead and back it up. Bear back it up. It's bear roll, but in reverse. That should be that emote. I should just do that. It'd be easy enough. Because we're going to assume that it's right here. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. I immediately regret dumping my food. Stress heal for everybody. Oh, I guess Vigil would have been better for the ambush prevention. Oh, well. Marching plan is pretty damn good. What else can we do here? Three string crossbow is really nice as well, actually. You know what? Let's do that and then leave the trinkets as is. And that way we don't have to swap off the Houndmaster's one. And... Let's go ahead and try a trinket here. Okay, I can sell that. Bear Caw with the bear roll is an extremely good combo. I agree. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. All right, a little bear luck that we don't have to deal with any hunger here. And that we also find the boss in this room. Let's go ahead and give him the blood now. Top off the torchlight. In radiance, may we find victory. Come on, and co it flesh. Crap. All right. Well, well, at least we know where it is. And the pile was wrong! Damn you! Okay, you are first. Eradicated. That'll do it. Mm hmm. Still have the perhaps far too audacious objective here to them at very executed. low, if not zero, stress. Let's see if we can get lucky. We're getting a lot of dodge on her. That's been fantastic. Looking good, looking good. Another stun there, another crit. Outstanding. Team has been fantastic. Bull level finished the job there, I think. Nice. Another dodge. Holy shit. And yet another crit. Wow, okay. Stress continues to drop. Oh my god, they're losing their minds right now. They're pretty pissed off that we didn't find the boss in this room, I think. They're angry that they have to keep going. This is literally beneath them, to be fair. They're all veteran level. This is... They thought they were done with this shit. I can empathize with that. Um... I bet we could get this one more time, but let's just go ahead and top him out. Top him off while we have the chance. Oh, yikes. Just kill it? Yeah. Just kill it. Don't mess around too much. Be wary. 
triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. I'm kind of tempted to just dump those two food, but let's just do this now. Yeah, like I meant to earlier. Like I should have earlier, rather. Crap. All right, here we go. Please no hunger, please no hunger, please no hunger, please no hunger, please don't make my team need to eat. I really don't want to do that because you see I don't have the food that we need, so if you could please see fit to not do that. The requirements of survival cannot be met on an empty stomach. Crap. I got that at least, alright. Here we go. Now here we go. And co at flesh time. Squirming, contorting, and ever expanding. This horror must be unmade. Alright. Two rounds or three rounds, chat. Place your bets now. How long is this gonna take? Oh yeah, I didn't even dog treat. <laughs> Shocking. No way, bear. You forgot? Say it ain't so. Eh, sure. Whatever that does. Not long is my answer. That's a good choice. It seems accurate. DLT is usually king in this fight, too. I forget that. Stun resist? No? Alright. Let's see here. You go ahead and have one, too. Why not? 7 to 13. 7 to 13. The Another crit. Quakes. Outstanding. All right, about a third of the way there, round one. I think it is stunned, sadly. Heals itself for four. My human, we're merely a vessel for the blood. There's our dog tree, buddy. Woo! Yeah, I really ought to be doing the Hound's Harry here too, I guess, but we have been getting pretty damn good results out of the Hound's Rush. It's been like a third of the damage by itself already. Awaken Shrub! Thank you very much for the 33! I wanted to. You. Welcome back. Thanks for the bear hugs for him, too. Um, Bola? A singular strike. The crits! The crits! The crits have been lethal. Looking good. To target that. That is an unfortunate transformation, but you should be fine. Doing some damage. You're hurting a little bit. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. No bleed, maybe. As life ebbs, terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. Hmm. Very little bleed resist, but I can't help but do another one of these. All right, let's fix him up real quick. That's all good. Uh, another big chunk, right? Sure. Well struck. I'll do it. All right. Who bet on three? Its destruction is a small consolation, given the implications of its terrible existence. Eliminated. As victories mount. So, too, will resistance. Terrific. Go, team, go. Back to the hamlet. Bold to do an anti -cube boss fight. That was uh, enjoying the benefit of the town event where you can bring higher level characters, so. It was pretty balanced in that regard. Traded off an additional soldier for little extra money, which we didn't really get a ton of, but it was probably still worth. I can still see their angry faces as they stormed the manor. But I was dead before they found me. And the letter was on its way. Let's go ahead and get rid of those vampiric spirits on pawn. And I am tempted to run this lot back and see if maybe we can knock out a veteran dungeon, get them up to rank four, and then have them go through the barren area? The bear barrier? We're just a room battles, explore. Ooh, a sacrificial cauldron for the occultist is not bad. 
need to rank up a proper healer, though, is the thing. I need to get this Vestal going. What week are we on? Week 30. Yeah. I'm going to need a Vestal soon. Let's check the stagecoach here. Another occultist. I want to say I have three of those right now. Two. I don't think I need that. Man-at-arms, maybe. But not right now. I think I'll leave these slots open for the moment and focus on who we got. Closing in on the Vintners here. Still trying to stockpile for that. I don't really need to level up Blacksmith or Guild at the moment, do we? It's not a huge concern. Hmm. I do think... We will be best off doing this. I think I'll bring Keyboarder back out. That's our superhero in the ruins. I'm going to bring Defiler this time. Well, Casmeria. And let's go JJ. Now let's go Okami. He's closer to the re level four here. That would be really nice. All right, trinket time. Let's double check the um, guild and blacksmith on these four as well. There we go. Farmstead for building. We'll go there eventually. I don't feel like it's a huge priority right now. It would help, but I'm having more fun doing the other stuff at the moment. Do I want to unlock anything new on you guys? I'm going to get Finale eventually. I think I'll just go ahead and do that now for him. And then let's get these just in case. It's good to have them as an option if you need it. And I guess that'll do for now. I still want to try to keep a little bit of money in the stockpile. No need to commit anybody at the moment, right? Yeah, we're good to go there. All right, let's get these trinkets sorted out. Mm -hmm. Got a cleansing crystal now, too. That's fun. We do have a couple of very rare trinkets that we could sell if we absolutely need the money, so that's a good position to be into. Ah, oh, that's a good call, actually, London. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, survivalist really fast while we have the extra cash. We can always use the ability to prevent the ambush, which we don't have right now, do we? Oh, no, we do. We got Hound's Watch. Okay. Every rose is really good. can go with that. Wound care, not really necessary. Yeah, it's probably enough. Again, I kind of want to keep our, co our coin as much as I can. Let's make this Crusader just an absolute beast. I think I'll go with... Yeah, I think I'll take that. He's going to get stressed out pretty quick, though, isn't he? Hmm. Man, Cove and the Wield is pretty well suited for, too, actually. This dude is a monster. I'm going to take the extra stun chance again, even though I didn't really use it all that much last time. I'm going to try this out, too. I think it's going to make him a little bit more utility-based. And then I'm not going to get a lot of benefit from the extra healing here. I think I will go for the Blight Amulet and the Witch's Vial, which means we've got some great options for you, buddy. We'll go ahead and play... Pretty defensively for you, too, I guess. A little bit of extra speed is nice. Yeah, I know. That plus 35%. I'm definitely I'm definitely reconsidering that. That's a bit much. I might just want to go with this again. And then I could do something like this. That's pretty solid. Yeah, I like that. That's good. Send it. Don't overthink it. Ready for the ruins. All right, I actually bring shovels. Bring a couple more holy waters this time. I'll bring a bandage or two, I guess. Uh, torches and need a little bit of blood. Cool. We're back. Yeah, we do have a uh, stress healer, thankfully, in this squad Face as well. Out the so. Walls of your lineage once familiar, now foreign. Should be alright. 
Yeah, thanks, Rob. Take it easy. Have fun at the park. It's finally starting to be a little sunny out, man. It has been nothing but gray skies and rain for the last, like, four days. I need that vitamin D real bad. Although now that I say that, it's actually gray again. Hopefully it gets back out there soon, but... I need to go take a walk, man, and get that sunlight in my eyes. I don't think I need to do this while I still have the blood. Oh, shit. No. No. Don't. Don't do that. Don't do that. The veteran shambler. Not a good idea. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, okay. Let's see. It's just crazy to me that the flight is not a very the effective quakes. method against these guys. The bleed is superior. Okay, he is nearly dead to that. Let's go ahead and... Oh, let's follow our rule. I remembered. Forced dog treat usage. All right. It's working. Slowly. Gently. This is how a life is taken. Sadly, despite our efforts there, we may not be able to avoid the curse on another party member. It will certainly help. They're so full of blood, it's easy for them to bleed. And then, therefore, like, having more blood equals you're more resistant to disease. That's usually why I decide to get blood infusions. Every few months or so, I'll go into the dock and be like, load me up. Give me that extra blood. Mm -hmm. So close. So close. Come on now. Needs more red blood cells to fight the infections. Like, it might actually make sense. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. All right. Pretty sure I can get away with a cheeky stress heal at the end here. I'm hoping that he's not going to be in too bad a shape HP-wise after this. So I think I ought to go ahead and do that too. But white blood cells fight infections. You get out of here with your facts. A faint hope blossoms. With your reality. This at least promises success. I want none of it. No, I'm just kidding. Come back. They're probably for the best. I suppose I can accept things as they are. <laughs> okay. Whatever, nerd. Oh, come on now. Well, I guess it is an explore. Not critical to know what's over there. I haven't seen a shambler in a while, and you probably won't. <laughs> Given the outcome from last time. Maybe an apprentice one, but otherwise it's going to be a... A fully unnecessary gamble. Yeah, I think I learned my lesson the first time there. Buddy. Yeah? Okay. I don't know about that, but if you say so. I have a double stun back there. How about that? Beautiful. Full stun? A powerful blow. Oh, that right there. Just, mm, screenshot. The four golden crowns. Oh, that's so satisfying in sequence, too. Love it. All right, they got the full blight resist here. Let's go for the battle battle again. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. The light will be very effective back there. Shouldn't be an issue. Very nice. That's expected. Dodge, unfortunately. He does have a little bit of extra stress, but fix him up. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay. That's a Hound's Harry fella. There's a little bit more bleed in the back. Very nice. Uh, kill him? Eradicated. Great plan. Well executed. Literally. 
that's tough. Finish this lady off with a blight. I would love to see the gargoyles in DDT style. Yeah, that'd be sick. Give them no quarter. They're definitely one of those enemies I would not mind uh, making a transfer over one bit. The slow death, unforeseen, unforgiving. Mm hmm. Guess who's having inventory space issues? As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Who is it, Bear? Who is is it? Is it Michelle Obama? Finding the stuff is only the first test. No, it's not Michelle now Obama. It must be carried home. Is it? Is it Pope Gregory? No, it's not the deceased Pope Gregory. Is it you, Bear? It's me. It's me. You got it. Way to go. Blame Grima for the image. It's Grima. Yeah, that's that's true, actually. the one there we go there we go and then have another kill a death by inches dodge it baby i'm beginning to expect blanket fire to be dodged i feel like that it must be like grape Grievous shot at last i guess which has got a very low chance to hit Palpable fear no it's patrick yeah that's true too Patrick peeking the microphone, which is peak Patrick. Their formation is broken. Not a dark dungeon. The offensive. Continue the onslaught. Sweet. Destroy them all. Peak trick, yeah, sure. Absolutely. <laughs> Is the gold worth losing? Any of this? I don't think so. Here we go. When's the Bellatra tournament there? Good question. I should be promoting that more. I'm going to be hosting a Bellatra tournament with some of your favorite content creators on April 9th at uh, 9 a.m. Pacific. There will be two rounds, one at 9 a.m. and one at 11 a.m. Pacific. 9 a.m. being my usual starting time. Come on by. It's going to be a hoot. I'd love to have you all here. I'm going to be the uh, main host and commentator. I won't actually be participating this time. I'm just going to be running the damn thing. So, yeah, I very much appreciate you all hanging out. This is honestly fully in an effort for me to prove the uh, spectator value of this game. And also to position myself ideally as someone who could provide commentary for set events. That's a good idea, Jack. Yeah, I should do that. Quickens. Okay, let's see. You know what? Second dog tree. And improvement. This seems like a good time. Who is this guy? Not my streamer. Decimated. Using his resources? Mmm, something's up. Something sketchy here. Yes, the Bear Taffy, Bear, uh, Bear Taffy Bellatro Brawl. Which uh, Cho is working up some kick-ass graphics for us for it, too. I'll share those when she's got them. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. There you go, buddy. Need a little bit of HP there. Just, just a smidge. Fix him up a little bit. Try to stun here too. Oh well. Yeah, I sure did it. Why brawl instead of brouhaha? Brouhaha. A noisy and overexcited reaction or response to something. I suppose that would be why. Because it's not the right word. <laughs> That's a good word. Not the right one. Oh my god, 17 power. damage stunning blow is absurd. A time to perform beyond one's limits. What the fuck, man? Ooh, we got nine busts too. This is going really well. Also, I don't know why I didn't open that. Um Yeah, 
that's maybe why. Crap. Well, he's gonna be stressed out. All right, so far so good though. This has been an outstanding dungeon. Especially for a veteran level, these guys are killing it. Is that why I make Laffy Taffy's playing Bellatro today? Universes Collide? Oh, is he playing that on stream? That's very good to hear. Yeah, he. Uh, I, I gave him the invite. He let me know he would be uh, practicing aggressively, I believe was the phrasing he used. So that's good to see. Yeah, the, uh, the full roster is... Uh, the first round is going to be... It's uh, Ryan, Dan, Mouth, and Apollo. Northern Lion, Dan Giesling, Dumb Dog, and Michael Leo Fox, for the less familiar out there. And then the next round, the second round, the same day, immediately following that one, will be Flag Flag, aka Corey. Ooh, Tapestry. Nice. It's a big find. Let's get rid of the blood. I'm going to feed him this. Go like that. Worthwhile trade. Cool. Uh, what did I say? I said it's going to be Cory. Fortune waiting to be spent. Uh, Frost Prime, McLaffy Taffy, and Sinvicta. And then it'll be the two uh, two finalists from each round. Two from each of those two groups will meet in the final on April 11th. Please do come hang out for that. It'll be a good time. Runs have been pretty good so far. We started off a little slow here today, Leafy, but I think we picked it up quite a bit. We managed to take out the inchoate flesh with a veteran squad as well, and now we're just kind of cruising through a veteran, exploring the ruins here, which Keyboarder's making very short work of. Let's do a brief recap of Keyboarder's situation here. Plus 15% ruins damage, plus 5% crit and accuracy versus humans, plus 10% overall melee skill damage, plus 10 accuracy, plus 5 crit chance, and plus 20% damage. He's got all of the numbers. All of the good numbers. He's making a pretty quick work of this area here. I do not mind the extra torchlight as well. Keyboard versus Shambler. I honestly should have maybe considered it. Because this is a very good team. I just, I, I think I'm happier having not taken the risk. And so too, I imagine, are those viewers in the future currently uh, looking forward to several more episodes of this playlist. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. And thanking past Bear for not having made a mistake that would almost certainly have cut the run short. Appreciates you, Bear. Oh, thanks. I didn't do what I can. Torchlight is gone. So. We'll probably use it for some strategic... Or we'll probably use our campfire for some torchlight coming through this room. I believe all we need to do is get to there, though, right? I think you can have two rooms left in a layout like this. I don't know why I did that. One or two. We're pretty close either way. I think we have just enough food as well. Yo, Tesla, thank you. Appreciate the 300 bits. Been teaching English overseas and haven't been able to watch live, but now I'm home. Can check out the stream. Huge fan of your work and keep up the great content. Thank you. Appreciate that. I was very pre prepared for that to be another uh, Sugandiz. For those that have seen that clip, I was mentally preparing myself, but I appreciate you not getting me. This is the day for it, anyway. Gathered close in tenuous firelight and uneasy companionship. What is Sugandi's? Sugandi's nuts! Boom! There we go. Full circle. They got me seven years ago with it. I get my own mod with it today. Yes! Vindicated. I am selfish. I am wrong. 
swear I knew it all along and I am flawed. Well, I'll clean it up so it would be so sick if you could use leeches to get rid of the curse. Eh, oh well. Let's do less stress, I guess. Yeah, we're already done with this, aren't we? Yeah, might as well just go ahead and rid us of all the stress we got. There we go. Nothing else needed, right? Yep, prevent the ambush, send it. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Tempted to full clear that, but I think we're great better off just taking the W. Us. And we will find whatever secrets they hold. Sweet, level four Okami. That went really well. Eh, that's not a big deal, I guess. Good stuff. Let me share with you oh. the terrible wonders I have come to know. Well then, looks like we're going to the farmstead. Double shards this week, yep. There's our cue. The light in the sky. Something has fallen from the stars and struck the old mill. Weaver's whisper of twisted vegetation and eerily shifting lights. Let's see here. Hey, Grim. You want to be up to level three? That sound good? Joe Gamer? You want to get in there? Below sea level? That seems pretty good. And then... Let's go with... S'mores. Yeah. That looks good. Lots of bleed. Got a good tank, good stress healing here. Yeah, this should be nice. Off to the guild. Got that stress healing sorted. I don't think I need either of those skills. Upgrade my crush this time. Maybe bolster? Not a bad idea. Hmm. I'm going to do it. I'm going to try it out. No need for those ones. No need for that stuff. And the blacksmith we go. Upgrade our weaponry. Survivalist check really quick here. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade these two, I guess. I kind of want to... You know what? Yeah, we're going to spend some crests here and make this cheaper because that's a significant upgrade. Saves us a lot of gold over the long run. And then that's already good. I need to prevent the ambush somehow, so we'll take the unspeakable commune with these guys, and then I think I'm gonna go with the tiger's eye as well. Actually, I want encourage. Yeah, that feels better. Only 22 more busts. Yeah, we're getting there. Ruins runs have definitely helped that. No, never heard of it, Pony. Would that happen to be one of the uh, ones that uh, Wayne June has done an audiobook for? Because that would certainly increase the likelihood to check it out. I need to listen to more of those, man. Mr. June. Cream of the crop narrator. All right, let's get this sorted here. We'll go full protection. For our flagellant this time around. Actually, hold on a second. Do we want to do that? Do we want to give him some more damage, maybe? That'd be interesting. Just having the chip tooth makes me feel like I ought to not do that. Ooh, the, let's go for the damage and the retribution. That's going to be nice. Yeah, I like that play. And then... Um, hmm. I don't know if I love Eternity's Collar. I think I'd rather just have Barrison's head, actually. Additional protection on him. Okay, okay. So am I going to do something like this? Oh, no, he's got the protection, too, actually. Now, hold on. Let's make him the tank. Let's get a little damage on this guy. Let's see how that goes. I'm just curious. Actually, no, let's do this. That's a fun combo. Then we could get the uh, damage trinkets on him as well. Big damage buffs. And then we can do something like this. We can do something like this. And then that? That's pretty cool. Oh, man. Maybe head instead of this. Because he's already got a lot of dodge. I could have dodge and protection. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. And then... Maybe I would prefer this up front. I think I would. Yeah. Nice. I'd love to see all 
very rare trinkets, man. Very rare at Crimson Court. Cool. Okay. Check the skills real fast. Okay, I'm going to go bolster over Rampart this time. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. I like this team a lot, actually. I think they're going to do pretty well in the farmstead here. Let's give them a shot. Remind me what the heck I need in here. I don't feel like I'm cheating by asking, because it's, it's been long enough. I probably would have just lo looked it up on my own anyway. You need, like... It's mostly just, like, DOT removal, right? I don't think you need shovels or keys or anything like that, because you're mostly just staying in the same room. So I think we just want to bring, like, maybe even just full stacks of this shit. And then... I guess herbs would be good. There's some debuffs. That's pretty much it, right? Yeah, shovels are useless. Get rid of DOT stuff. Herbs for the debuffs. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could bring laudanum, I guess. This would probably be the time to do it. Yeah. And then... Yeah, I might as well bring those two. Why not? And a full thing of herbs. Fuck it. As prepared as we can be. There's a teeny tiny amount of rubble. One shovel. One shovel for the rubble. Blight had struck the harvest again that year. And the miller was desperate. He came to me. Hat clutched tightly in filthy fingers. Stinking of sweat and manure. Yeah, sorry. I haven't Seated shot comfortably in a bit. in my observatory... Surrounded by telescopes and other delicate apparatus, I recognized his misfortune as an opportunity. And I agreed to lend him my expertise. Oh, you thought it was the courtyard? Yeah, I don't think there is actually any obstruction in this place. Because I'm fairly sure you just stay in the same room the whole time, as far as I can remember. Unless a shovel works here. Okay, well, I had to try it. There we go. Onward. Okay, here we go. Now, if you haven't seen the farmstead before, this place is fun. A decisive pummeling. See our meter up here. The uh, the more full that is, the better. That means we're getting a bigger reward. These crystals. Not only can you spend on certain uh, building upgrades, the, the districts, rather, in town, but you can also use those on uh, trinkets. The trinket seller, whatever that thing's name is, has a separate tab for trinkets that uh, can only be bought with this Slowly, resource. Gently. This is how a life is taken. Yeah, here's the tooltip for it as well. Defeated foes will swiftly be replaced by waves of despicable reinforcements. Your party must endure this onslaught without pause or hope for respite. Because of the strange nature of time's behavior in the farmstead, you can retreat with no penalty at any time. All farmstead quests have a kill meter. Fill it by defeating monsters. When you tally at certain thresholds, you receive a reward of crystal shards. When the jeweler seeks these strange glowing shards, he'll trade you for unspeakable artifacts of the powers yet. A fancier way of saying what I just said. And holy shit, the damage from the repost. That is making me very, very happy already. Let's keep buffing it. Yeah, some of the crystal trinkets are really good too, so this is absolutely worth spending some time on here. Um, let's do this, and that way a harvest from the jester is going to finish those two off. Or a bleed, yeah, that'll do it. Uh, I'm pretty sure we just... Keep his repost going at all times and then otherwise bolster. So far, so good, man. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. This is going great. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Stress heals off of that. Outstanding. Resistance is pretty low on these guys. Take full advantage of that. Wow. Okay. I feel like we got a really nice team for this, too. Let's see here. We're going to go ahead and do one more battle ballad. Stress is absolutely fine right now. We're going to reset our retribution here. Continually onslaught. 
destroy them all. Yeah, farmstead music is fun too, for sure. Oh boy, okay, okay. The torch the in here is different as well. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. I believe it will change. I don't remember when it does. Or what triggers it? I think it might just be like randomly. But I think it'll change at some point here. I think this explodes. Somehow bled it despite the 100%. That was pretty nice. Oh, it doesn't change in the first mission. Okay, but it does that in the later ones, right? Like, I think that's a modifier for when you're going like the super long farmstead runs. That's adorable. A death by inches. Ooh, he's a big boy. All right, got a foreman this time. Do items that depend on light meter work in the farmstead? I think, yeah, I think Meep's right. I think it always counts as bright light for, as far as that's concerned. It, it, it reads as always 100. So, yeah, they should work. I'm pretty sure they work. But nothing, of course, uh, based on dark torchlight will work. A time to perform beyond one's limits. Holy cow, that was huge. We'll dodge on that is outstanding. Let's go ahead and uh, look at the repost for one more round. Let's do that again. Yeah, and then how's the bleed looking here? That'll be enough. Go for it, fella. That's a heal? It's not a heal. Okay. That is going to be speed and protection, which thankfully doesn't really matter there. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Another stress heal off a of repost. That's pretty sick. And let's see here. We're still full stacking on this one. Let's go for the uh, harvest this time. Their cursed champion falls. Oh, I should have done a slice off there. Oh, well. This is going very, very well so far. Speaking of which, good stuff. Okay. Let's see. Let's go for the command on them. That'll feel nice. Really like my squad for this man. I think I'll go pop a bandage on our jester there too. It seems like like a safe play. Get rid of that stress debuff as well. Yeah, DOT is doing really good here. The uh, continual buffs are obviously doing fantastic here too. I didn't really consider the value of that, but obviously outstanding. A singular strike. Um. Hmm. I don't think we need to heal him, actually. I think he's going to be okay. Go like that, go like that. Might as well go like that, too. Harvest time, although we can just let him bleed out, I guess, and we can restore our battle ballot here. I like that well enough. Get by to the big boy. Let's see how a crush does here, actually. Yeah, that's pretty damn good. I guess I did take off my retribution. Yeah, I really need to make sure I'm the doing that falls, every time I can. A faint hope blossoms. Uh, let's see here. I mean, while I don't need to stress heal, yeah, it certainly makes sense to keep doing that. Especially without anything to target. All right, yeah, of course, it's going to trigger the retribution. He is dead, though. Oh, yes, that it. was my crush, wasn't it? I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to retribution him. Oh, well. Six stress heal is pretty nice, I guess. Shuffle around here. Miss it? Holy shit, wow. That's convenient. Okay. I think I want to do that. Didn't they nerf the one battle buffs here? I think you're right. Oh my god. <laughs> Woo, shit. I'm liking that flagellant damage. Stress? Tiny bit of stress, really, wow. Okay. They only last one stage, it goes away after each camp break. Ah, but you can always space cocaine them back, right, of course. Good old space coke. Obliterated. Dude, this team is crushing it. They're having absolutely no issues. The blood 
quickens. No problem. Keep them bleeds coming. I'll go for an abyssal here, I think. Pretty damn high crit chance. I'm worried about two damage. I'm worried about no dodge. Give him the retribution again. Absolutely. He's out of here, man. They're like pests. Well struck. You are bugs. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Anybody watching Three Body Problem? Huh? Huh? I'm getting pretty into that show. Make me want to read the book. I know, right? Yeah. Back to the pit. It's really hard just for, like, healing me, I guess. I thought they exploded for some reason. Okay. My god. My god. How about a retribution kill, too, there, huh? No? I watched the whole thing last night, Sable. Damn. I believe I got through episode 5 last night. I stayed up pretty late watching it, though, man. It is captivating. I really like the uh, the the actor that plays the the main cop guy. I don't think I've ever seen him in anything before, but he is very uh, enjoyable to watch. He's so casual. It's just perfect for the role he's playing. I also really like uh, Liam Cunningham, the Game of Thrones dude. He's in that show as well. He's really good. Festering fear consumes the mind. And the other Game of Thrones dude, whose name I also don't know. Does a great job in that show, too. I have a friend that's a particle physicist. He was pretty disappointed. Ah, oh, really? I wonder how good the book is uh, in that regard. I wonder if they had to dumb it down for the show a little bit. There are some parts that kind of make me like, you know, they they put the, uh, the 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 fry eyes on me, got me looking like this. Really? That that's what happens. That's how that works. Okay, if you say so. But I'm mostly willing to just take them at their word. <laughs> like, I'm, not, I'm not sweating the believability all that much. The birthplace of dread. It's entertaining. The science parts are like, let's quickly rush through this and not explain it too much because we don't know either yet. <laughs> well, like, the whole idea behind it is that there are, are like several unknowns and in, pl in play right like not to spoil too much or anything but like there's a lot that no one understands that's being described and you know i guess you can't really fault them for that oh sweet remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer <laughs> i guess they just decided i was you know what yeah you you win that's enough The books are phenomenal and are pretty well scienced. Nice. I do have, I've, I've have the sample. I think I've read the first like four pages. So yeah, I think I'll push on see if I can get into that. Spiritual on guard. Not bad. No amount of scrubbing can remove the stains of such fearsome piety. Oh, nice. Cheaper transept and cloister. I don't really need it, unfortunately. His biggest problem was they were out to lunch on some key things. Like, no physicist would be upset that their toys stopped working. They'd be ecstatic that suddenly the rules we know stopped working. That makes sense. Yeah, they would probably be a lot less doom and gloom about it, right? Yeah, because all the scientists in the beginning are like, everything we know is wrong. Instead, they should be like, everything we know is wrong. <laughs> Isn't this incredible? 
All right, let's see. Hmm. Another Rihanna Q. I'm really looking for another Vestal right now, I don't, th or I think. Like, that seems like the biggest priority for sure. Although I do need to level up Robin, too. Speaking of which, I feel like that ought to be a priority here as well. Maybe, I mean, since Pawn is going to be level 3 soon, maybe I should bring another Anna Q and then I can go on a quick little money run here. She searches where others will not go. Hmm. And sees what others will not see. Oh, these are, right, okay. I, I misspoke. These are separate currencies, although I have these, you get these from the farmstead too, right? Sorry, I'm blocking it with my face, but there's these little things for the districts, which I believe also come from the farmstead, right? So that's where we get those, I'm pretty sure. But uh, the, the shards, these ones. First of all, I think we can trade? Yeah, that's cool. We can trade those for heirlooms, which is nice. You get memories from the farmstead. Right, okay, okay, okay. Comes from being the miller. Okay. So in that case, all we're really concerned about with these shards then is the nomad wagon, which we can go in here and eventually start to get some of these. We can't quite get them. Can't afford them just yet. But maybe we'll make another trip back there and look for something. Somebody was talking about the broken key. Plus 15 accuracy, plus 35% stun skill chance. Holy shit. That's amazing. Yeah, there's some really good, like, character-specific ones, too. I did not realize you had Grey Rod. Let's get rid of that. Let's see where we're going. Back to the Baron, maybe? We'll keep making progress here. The Miller's open now as well. We've got long Apprentice Ruins dungeons. We got this sh thing from the stars roaming around the wheel now. Oh boy. Fleet foreign on the antiquarian. Bullseye bandana is really good. For a long antiquarian run? Is this what I'm doing? This would be a good way to level up the Vestal, I suppose. I did something like this. Maybe make it a Bonk Vestal. What are you doing there? Hard skin, luminous? Yeah, you could do that. Try that out. Get a little blight in there. And then... Let's do a Bounty Hunter again. That should be pretty good. What does the Love Interest quirk do? I believe that one makes it so they can only use the Brothel. up. I think we're good to go here. I'm going to go ahead and unlock her melee skills. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, That's about it, isn't it? I do want Festering Vapors for her. Not much else to be done with these guys. Quick look at the survivalists. Mm -hmm. Got our ambush prevention right. Yep, we're good. Um, I'll get encouraged for her, and then, yeah, that's good enough. That'll work. All right, you're our tank, buddy. Let's give you, hopefully, some non... non-issue trinkets here. I think that's going to be okay. I don't have a lot of stress removal, though. Maybe we should just... What about a cleansing crystal? That's pretty good for him, actually. I like that. Oh, yeah, we do need a Pikmin, don't we? Yeah, we got a brand new Antiquarian. Hold on, let's get a fresh one going. Pick me in the chat. P-I-C-K-M-E. Brand new one going here. If you've done it already, go ahead and re-enter. We'll draw a new name for the Antiquarian here. And then let's go probably with the Blight and Stun Chance for her again. It was a good play last time. I'm going to give her some damage up front. 
keep her group heal equipped as well. And of light and mace bash. Nice. And you. Let's give you some dodge if we can. Our stress, I guess, is pretty good. You know what? This is going to be good, too, actually. We're going to get a lot of blight out. We can benefit from that. Speaking of which. B -b Blanda! Welcome to the team. You're brand new and cute. All right. Trinket sorted. Squad sorted. Ooh, we get busts from this, I just realized. That's a little bit better than the bullseye bandana right now. Let's go get this quest reward. Hit it. All the food. Two stacks of torches. Four shovels. Two bandages. Three holy waters. Three keys. That'll do. Two herbs, just in case. Three bandages. Okay. Okay, we're good. Send it. One more key. Send it. Whoo! Here we go. Possibly our last run of the day. Hopefully don't lose anybody today. That'd be amazing. The fiends must be driven back. And what better place to begin than the seat of our noble line? And I am very much hoping to find a bunch of money in here. All right, get the additional damage versus unholy. This is going to be fun. 6 to 12 on the bonk. Back to the pit. Robin. Looking good. I like that already. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Right. Very clean start. Another one falls. Pretty damn easy fight to begin with, but I'll take it. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Especially if they want to give me a thousand damn gold to do it. I'll take it. I think you're going to need to bonk several bitches, actually, Robin. Take care of this business. All right. Well, torchlight for me wouldn't be bad either, actually. Knockback on these guys, pretty outstanding as well. Wouldn't mind getting him with that either. Uh, let's do this though. It's gonna be pretty damn strong. Oh, Kawabanka. That's extremely good. I like that a lot. Plenty of blight. Nice dodge there. Doesn't even have that much dodge, actually. I was just pretty lucky. Okay, okay. He is basically dead. Go ahead and finish the job back there. Let the two-turn timer take him out. Let's go with another Dazzling Light. No, that's probably not going to work. Let's go for this. Hmm. Needs to crit. She's a 1% chance to crit. That's funny. Uh, let's do this, actually. I mean, this guy gets killed before he's able to do another stuck. action. A blazing star is born. Oh, that is enormous. Let's go. Let's look at the knockback on her as well with the uppercut coming up here. Gonna be able to heal that with the Plague Doctor. This guy, I think, is made less effective in that position as well, though he also is dead, I'm pretty sure, isn't he? Made a lot less effective that way. Stab time. Ooh, six to nine damage on the stab potentially there. Death by inches. Okay, Battlefield Medicine coming up. No sweat. Got an upcut chance up here. He's dead to Blight. Should target her first, I guess. Yeah, let's go with the finish him back there. Or that. Eh, she's got the stun resist, though. Let's just keep bonking. And then 9 to 17. Press this advantage. Sweet. Give them no quarter. Alright, go team go. That was awesome. Slowly. Gently. This is how a life is taken. Naturally, instantly in inventory crisis here. Oh, right, yeah, goddammit. Whoops. 
Okay, and up we go. We do have to exterminate. Actually, you know what? I should probably... Oh, man. Crappy layout. I think I gotta go this way, and then maybe there's nothing up here that we have to do, but I should probably assume there is. No thank you on that one. Another pretty easy fight. So long as I can stop this guy from taking any actions. That's all we care about. Bye-bye. Ah! Son of a bitch. Uh, blight him, I guess. Come on, man! Another abomination cleansed from our lands. Uh, short answer, no, Robin. All right. Come on now. You should have given me that one. You got rid of you, damn it. I tried to, anyway. Don't you dare take another one. Don't you dare, I said. Don't you dare. Ugh. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Sweet. Yeah, stress is getting bad already. That's definitely the biggest concern coming into here. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Mm hmm Okay. A fortune waiting to be spent. I will make a prediction of what your sage advice is going to be, which is probably about the journal notes and that if you keep them in the inventory, it keeps them out of the inventory for the loot. Am I right? If I'm wrong, don't tell me. Obliterated. Mm, that feels good. God damn. Yeah, step. Yep. That's what I was hoping for. There you go. I haven't done a lot of the mark. I don't know if I'm actually going to do it. Well, I guess I wouldn't, or not the mark, the uh, hand of light. I don't know what else I would use in this position, though, so probably worth hanging on to. Hey, McQueep, how you doing, man? We've been playing lately. You still into the backpack battles? I'm thinking about playing a little backpack battles today. Ew. Ah, that's... Okay, that, that has easily been the thing that I am the most shocked by in my return to this game is the amount of stress that crits Confidence do. Surges as the enemy crumbles. Very often, critical hits from the enemy will do significantly more stress damage than an intentional stress attack. It's nutty. It is ridiculous. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Crits are devastating in this game. Um, oh, is this a very early camp? I guess it could be. It wouldn't be terrible. Early camp and a late camp is usually decent here. A spark without kindling. Slice and dice, the right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to play more of that. Man, the Steam release. I forgot that that came out very recently, too. We did a little bit of that last week. Man, yeah, we got a lot of good games now. That's a very good problem to have. Too much to play. All right, get to get rid of at least a little bit of this here. Prevent the ambush as well. Just a triple encourage, honestly, seems like the way to go right now. And then I don't think we've got the inventory space for a trinket, so I'll take that instead. Not me playing Slice and Dice at work while modding. <laughs> Triple tasking pawn, you love it. The light, the promise of safety. That's the only way to go these days. A renewal. Welcome back. Shadow Fox. Thank you very much for the resubscription. Bear hugs, please, for him. Welcome back into the pile. Appreciate the support. Let him feel the love. I want the beads so badly. I think I'll do that. Oh, man, I hate inventory. Can I play that new South Park game that came out? Eh, probably not. I'm glad they're making new ones still, though. 
I played uh, the tiniest bit of the Stick of Truth and didn't really like it. I played the second one even less. So I think it's just not for me. I, I might have... I don't know, man. Like, I don't want to say it because I don't want to sound like a dick. But I, I don't know if I like South Park anymore. I loved it growing up. But I think I might have outgrown it now. This new one's getting panned anyways. Ah, really, that's a shame. It's been going downhill for a while. I mean, it's kind of suffering from Simpson syndrome, really. Like, the way is lit. The network the refuses to let it die. We require only the strength to follow it. In like season 25 or something right now, right? Yeah, just the, the, the formula is, is worn off, I guess. Yeah, each game is radically different, so honestly, it's probably worthwhile to give it a shot just based on that. Very well could be that this is the one that gets me. But, you know, we got other things As to play. The fiend falls, the faint hope blossoms. Like we were just saying, we're not hurting for options right now, thankfully. This expedition at least promises success. I do recognize that I'm saying that while playing uh, an eight-year-old game. Love you. Have a good day. But that doesn't solely the point, man. It still stands. Got a lot of good stuff. Ooh, two antiques. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. You don't say. Oh, I just realized, too, this is actually the perfect way to do this. Yeah, this is... I did this right. Because we're going to have to go all the way over here and then come up this way and then come back around anyway. Taffy girl! Hello, come here! Come here, come on, come on! So close. Oh, well, she stayed in the room at least to scratch her head. This is the world's worst webcam. This, this one. You. You're a terrible product. You don't know how to focus. You're supposed to automatically focus and you literally never do. What's wrong with you, product? What's wrong with this product, Taffy? Sorry, not you, chat, you're good. You know, don't, don't take it personally, it's, it's the camera's fault. Right, Tommy? At least the focus is on him, I guess. I mean, that's important. Right on cue, to you son of a bitch. Focus on the Tommy, this one, here. This is your subject. What are you focused on? The background? Piece of junk. Ridiculous. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. ADHD camera, seriously. Hey, okay. I don't really have the inventory space for this, so this is actually just terrible. Hmm. Let's see. Still stun these guys. Try to anyway. As the light gains purchase, uh -huh. spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Your character wants the curse. They're really gunning for it, man. No kidding. All right, unlikely blight. I'm really not in a great position to kill these guys right now. This is not what I wanted to see. So we should have given our HP situation back there, too. I might even need to get a mark of the bounty hunter or something. That's nice. Okay. Can you get a buff off of that? That's pretty good. I guess that's a good use case for that skill, too. They shouldn't be able to target her back here, I don't think. I'm hoping so. I'll try to fix her up a little bit while we have the opportunity, at least. I'm not going to be able to stun them, so let's just try to get numbers here. Come on, big stab. Nice. Stop it! Why are you targeting the back rank? It's not nice. Stop doing that! 
It's not even going well for you. I recognize it's still the best choice, but stop it. One more here. There we go. I just Googled Darkest Dungeon Blood Moon and all I got was a bunch of Bear Taffy videos. Yeah! Champion of the algorithm, baby! Let's go! <laughs> he, he's done it. Measure of success. That curse is unfortunate, but oh well. It's the, uh, it's essentially the name of the difficulty, McQueen. And conveniently for me, a good name for a campaign. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Hidden treasures. Uh, do we need 12 torches? Probably. You wouldn't think we do, but then we do. Now, do we need more food to... Gah, stop it! Stop this! This was not the aim of this of this run. I don't even need the invitation. I know how how badly they want me there. He's showing you his report card. They uh, put that up on the on the fridge, huh? Along with his corpse. Hey, Cloud. Welcome. It's been going pretty good today. We've been having a pretty uh. Definitely overall a successful day today. Made a lot of good progress. And so far, knocking on wood. A little bit of bear luck. We haven't lost anybody yet either. Just kill it. Just kill it. Okay. That's convenient. No blight, please. Heal that at least. Good. Good. Okay. Okay. Even better. Erd! Welcome back. Welcome back. Please give him some bear hugs. Thank you for the 41. Appreciate it. Ah, just heal a little. The wounds of war can be healed. But oh, never hidden. Safe. Oh, get it. Oh, come on. It's right there, bear. You get the waners wrong, you can read them. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Big crit. Oh. Which line from DD1 or 2 is as recognizable as Eminem's mom spaghetti? I mean, it's a pretty obvious one. Overconfidence is fucking lit, bro. But then you have to put on your sunglasses and be like, yeah! That's what I, I think that's the one that most people instantly connect with this game. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Um, see ya. No thanks. A trick of the light? That's a good one. Yeah, trinkets of bobbles paid for in blood. That's up there. Those are probably the top three, actually, back to back to back. Alright, well. Probably gonna have to go through this whole thing. We're doing well on supplies, though. Just never like having this much be unknown. I'm really wondering if I can. Ah, oh, I guess I, yeah. Same effect, Wealth right? beyond measure, awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. I was gonna say, wonder if I can afford the shovel there, but we don't have to. Yeah, might as well. Um, then do that, and then do that, and then do In that. In Radiance, may we find victory. There we go. I love the blood pumps the limbs obey. Ooh, yeah. A lesser known one. Very good. Ew. Alright, this one's bad. And this is a reason for concern here. I'm gonna go for the bonus stun damage, or I was gonna try to anyway. Knockback brings them closer. Let's see if I can get that. Excellent. Fully stunned them. Now they get their first attacks, okay. Another knockback here would go real hard. I think I might try that out. 
And then the light grenade may kill him. I honestly think I got a pretty decent shot of the double stun there, though. I guess I might as well try for the kill now. Ooh, yeah, this has got to be the play, right? Especially because that'll mean the Noxious Blast is going to be targeted better here. A little buff there as well. Not standing. No way she's not able to do anything all that effective next turn. This guy's fucked in the back, too. Perfect. Hmm. How's that looking? Pretty good. Annihilated. Pretty good. Really? What? That's ridiculous. I can't believe she can do that in the front rank. That's absurd. I did not think that was a possibility. Eradicated. All right, whatever. Oh, annihilated. That's just a good word. A good way in her own zone, isn't it? Through that. Uh, Torchlight? Sure. Why the heck not? Cool. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. That one. That one. There you go. Ugh. So much shit. Not enough room. Packs laden with loot. Are often low on supplies. Do I have to go all the way over here? Mm -hmm. Eight torches left should still be enough. I'm very glad I decided not to get rid of them when I had the chance. And hopefully, this room is actually required. Holy water here. Very, very nice. Yeah, we really need to get back to the Baron soon, man. There's so many bloodsuckers everywhere. Mechanical hazards possessed by evil intent. Okay, okay, so far so good here. Yeah, right on cue too, man. Come on. It's all bloodsuckers. God damn it. Alright. Alright. Mm-hmm. Please. Please, no thirst. Please, no curse. Please, no thirst. No thirst for the curse. Don't do your worst. Unless we need a hearse. Oh, boy. Come on, come on. No blight. That's outstanding. That's a good result. Blight is nearly enough back there. Come on. Okay. Oh, that sucks. Okay, we can do this. Huh? Uh huh? Giant blight there might do it. Nine? Not quite. Let's do this instead. There we go. And then knockback is not going to do anything, so we'll just try to hit something. We'll do our best to do anything. No luck that time. Ah, fuck me. Please. Thank you. Yeah, they're pretty damn determined to get a Crimson Curse out here, aren't they? I'd really prefer they didn't. Big bonk. Okay. Uh, heal her up. Please don't. Oh my god, he's getting really lucky with those. There he goes, there he goes. Have you ever tried no straight roads? That does not sound familiar. Is that new? Okay. I have to camp after this. Yeah, I suggest is good for that. Thank you, Grim. We go through the suggestion list every now and then. That's a good place to put it. Welcome back. Fire Ice Nova. Thank you for the bear hugs for the prime. Welcome back. 18 months appreciated. Been watching on YouTube. Was wondering why you don't use the Musketeer. She's unlocked. I just don't think we've seen her yet in the stagecoach. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Or we might have one, and I just am not using her. I mean, she's basically the Arbalist. 
Like literally the same skills, just reskinned. We've been using a lot of Arbalist. I'm the one currently in the hero list, I think. Yeah, I think we have one. I just haven't really been bringing her out all that much. Okay, we just gotta stun the shit out of this lady. So clearly, this is gonna be her move every single goddamn time. Because she sucks! Stun. Musketeer is prettier than Arbalist. Musketeer is cooler than Arbalist. We got some Musketeer fans. All right, all right. Noted. Ah, man. Naturally going first to stop our stun bonus. She is all we care about. Oh, I hate you. Really starting to hate you. Test your presence. There we go. Get the fuck out of here. You, I now think, are forced to bay in that jab, although it might be one more rank. Okay, that's good. We've been dodging everything. Sheesh. Stumble's good as well. Okay. Let's get a little blight back there. I think the bounty hunter might be able to one-shot this guy. Get more blight back there as well. I didn't land the first one, apparently. Okay. Uh, I can't. No, don't jinx like this, please. Fuck, don't do this. Thank you. Saved? Heal? Is that a heal? It's not a, a heal. Okay, she might still die. In the eye of the storm. I got a stun. More dust. More ashes. More disappointment. I don't like Darkest Dungeon, actually. I think this is a bad video game. I'm going to go ahead and change my opinion now for the for the rest of the time. This is a bad video game played by bad people. If you've played it for any length of time, you should feel nothing but shame. Mortality clarified in a single strike. Just, just the worst. I, I did jinx it. I really did. That sucks, man. Ugh. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. I'm starting to be very concerned here. After this. Now oh, I can't prevent the ambush. That sucks. Much worse than mere trick ah! boogeyman. So fucking frustrating, man. I'm really glad this is the last round of the day because <laughs> I've reached my limit for this for this morning or this afternoon, I guess now. Yeah, without a doubt. That's about as much DD as I can handle for a day. This is getting frustrating. Impressive. Thankfully, this shouldn't be too bad of a fight. Could be a lot worse. Yeah, it's pretty easy, actually. Oh, boy. Okay, man. Fuck. Brutal. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Sheesh. 
ghoulish horrors brought low and driven into the mud. Yeah, you know why wouldn't it be, right? So this, 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 this is the, this is why I fail, is because in moments like this, I think to myself, but we could keep going, couldn't we? We could maybe finish it. It's not over. No, it's over, Bear. Go ahead and leave. Go ahead and get out of there now. Wounds to be tended. Lessons to be learned. We gotta leave with 20 grand. Okay, it's not all bad, you know? Obviously, this is a terrible element of it, but there's some good. There's a silver lining around the, the giant gray cloud of death. Finally, the serum is working. And the side effects are manageable. All right, seven out of 16. But again, we're we're still kind of on pace. We're a little behind. We're a little bit behind right now. I'll, I'll fully admit that. It's certainly not ideal to have lost seven people, especially before the veteran and the champion stuff starts up. But I still feel okay. I think we're going to be able to bring this back. We're going to get to the Baron pretty damn soon here, obviously, because obviously the, the, the bloodsuckers are running rampant, so we need to get back there as soon as we can. Probably take out the Miller at some point. But, uh, yeah. I'll try to keep this on track, man. For now, thanks for watching. Over on YouTube.com slash Bears Happy. Please leave a like on the video. Members are getting these uploads about a day or two, typically before they go live for everybody. So if you'd like to see these early on YouTube, please consider becoming a member of the Bear Pile over there. You get a little icon next to your name in the comments as well. It's cute. So appreciate everybody's support over there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.